Hello guys, Flanker is here. In this video I will tell you everything you need to know about gypsum and the fastest possible ways to get it. In general, there are 7 types of gypsum that you can obtain for multiple in-game activities. Apart from them, there is also one more special gypsum type that is available during the winter holiday event. Topaz gypsum can be obtained after killing the mobs of level 55 and higher. Prior to that, you should drink a Topaz gypsum attunement potion that can be crafted on a tier 5 camp with a 20 hour cooldown. The effect of this potion lasts 1 hour and within that time you have to obtain 10 pieces to craft a gypsum orb. The drop rate of Topaz gypsum is 75% but there is also a cooldown between drops from 1 to 3 minutes. Therefore, you will not be able to farm all 10 pieces quickly, on average it will take from 40 minutes to 1 hour. Also, keep in mind that there is a daily limit of 10 drops, not 10 items that you have picked up. It means that if you accidentally miss a purple bag with a piece of topaz gypsum, then you will be able to craft a gypsum orb only the next day. The best location to farm topaz gypsum that I found so far is in Shattered Mountain. There are two small forts called Baymans and Iratus, relatively close to the western outpost. The process is very simple. You start farming mobs in one fort, then move to the second one while the mobs respawn. This can be done both solo or in group, just make sure you never miss the purple bags. If you have any difficulties with killing mobs, consider using corrupted coatings, trophies and honing stones. Obsidian gypsum can be obtained by killing named elite mobs of level 60 or higher. In total, you need three pieces of gypsum and their drop chance is 80%. Unfortunately, there is also a cooldown for drops that is from 10 to 13 minutes and a daily drop limit of 3 pieces. Apart from that, killing a high level named mob solo might be difficult for many players. But don't worry, there is always an easy way. When I checked the list of named mobs who can drop obsidian gypsum, I was surprised to see there Ivan the Inevitable. I am not sure whether he was added to the list by mistake or not, but this guy can be killed solo without any problems and he drops the gypsum. This boss is located in Skysong Crypt in the northern part of Ebonscale Ridge territory. His respawn time is very short, probably around one and a half for 2 minutes, so pretty much there are two options. You can kill the boss, get the first gypsum drop and then take a 10 minutes break because you won't be able to get gypsum in the next 10 minutes. Alternatively, you can just kill the boss every time he respawns because there is a chance to drop a jewel crafter's tunic that usually costs a couple of thousands gold. I was lucky to drop one and sold it for 4k. If you have any difficulties with this boss, I recommend you to use lost coating, trophies and honing stones. In general, it should take around 30 minutes to collect all all three pieces of obsidian gypsum. Corrupted breaches are not only a source of corrupted fragments, but also a way to get amethyst gypsum. In total, you need seven of them to craft a gypsum orb. Major portals have a 100% drop chance, and for minor breaches, the chance is 50%. As long as amethyst gypsum can be obtained only from level 60 plus portals that cannot be destroyed solo, the best way to farm them is to join a corrupted portal train. By the way, if you would like to know more about the best ways to farm corrupted breaches, I strongly recommend you to watch the previous video on my channel. Channel. So technically, you can farm topaz, obsidian and amethyst gypsum at the same time, for example during the elite chest run in Mirgard. But don't forget about a daily drop limit for topaz and obsidian gypsum. If you accidentally skip the purple loot bags, then you will not be able to collect enough gypsum for the orb. Emerald gypsum can be obtained for reaching one of the three marks on a trade skill experience circle. Crafting trade skills require a huge amount of experience, so it makes much more sense to focus either on refining or gathering to get your daily dose of gypsum. The only exception here is cooking. It requires 70,000 experience that can be easily gained by crafting around 100 of hearty meals. The cooking ingredients are usually cheap, so out of all crafting trade skills, cooking is definitely number one when it comes to obtaining gypsum. Now let's take a closer look at all five gathering activities. Locking requires a little more than 40,000 experience, which may seem to be a lot, but in reality, it's not much at all. If you find a decent spot with iron wood, especially with big trees, Trees, then it will take around 15 minutes to gain enough experience. And if you don't want to have any competition for ironwood, then consider chopping young and mature trees outside any settlement. In this case, it will take around 25 to 30 minutes. Mining requires 16,000 experience to get a daily gypsum reward. Obviously, you will get the most experience by mining orichalcum or star metal, but there is always a huge competition for them. I've tested mining boulders and was surprised to find out that it is not that bad. It takes 
takes around 20 minutes to reach the mark and apart from stones that can be refined into stone blocks and sold on the trading post, you can also obtain some tolvium and cinnabar from reward caches. In general, you have a lot of options when it comes to mining, for example iron, oil, lodestone, precious ores, etc. But most likely it will take much more time to obtain gypsum because you will have competition on all good routes almost every time. Harvesting requires 17,000 experience. Unfortunately, wire fiber does not give as much experience as ironwood for example, and the best route in Eden Grove will have competitors almost 24-7, but it is possible to find alternative routes, for example to farm silk on the north of Morningdale or fibers near the Hermit Shrine in Windsward. On average, you will spend from 20 to 30 minutes to get emerald gypsum by harvesting. Even though skinning requires the highest amount of experience, it appeared to be one of the easiest ways to obtain gypsum. First of all, you can find a good spot and hunt animals without any competition anytime. Secondly, skinning them gives a lot of experience. For example, you can get 2000 XP for bison and 1200 XP for wolf just outside the Reek water. Therefore, 20 minutes will be more than enough to reach the next mark on your experience circle. Fishing requires a little less than 10,000 XP to obtain gypsum. The fastest way to do that is to find an area with high density of 2 and 3 star hotspots. The best locations for that are Reekwater and Abonscale Reach. I have two videos on my channel about both of these areas with the best fishing routes, so consider watching them if you are a fisher enthusiast. In general, you will need 4-5 hotspots or 20-25 minutes to gain enough experience. A few more tips to make the process of obtaining emerald gypsum easier. Make sure to farm all tier 4 and tier 5 resources on your way. They give the most experience and very often, after logging into the game, you will realize that you need only, for example, to mine boulders for 5 minutes to get your daily gypsum. If you can play New World today, but not sure that you will have free time tomorrow or any other day, just farm experience to get as close as possible to the next mark on the circle, but do not reach it. In this case, the next day when you log in, you will only need one minute to get gypsum. Sapphire gypsum can be obtained as a guaranteed drop from the final bosses of Lazarus or Genesis expeditions. If you are focused on expertise farm, then you will go to dungeons most likely every day. Therefore, it might be a good idea to have a constant group with members that you know and share the tuning orbs with each other. Apart from that, don't forget about coating trophies, honing stones and other consumables that can speed up the process. There is absolutely no need to spend 40 minutes for something that can be done in 20 minutes. Ruby gypsum can be obtained as a reward for participation in Outpost Rush. In order to craft the orb, you need two pieces of gypsum, which means that you have to participate in two matches. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, but don't just stay AFK, make sure you actually contribute by doing something related to PvP or PvE, otherwise you will not obtain gypsum. Usually Outpost Rush matches matches last from 15 to 30 minutes, but the final amount of time that you will need to get two pieces of ruby gypsum also depends on the time spent in queue. So realistically, you will spend around an hour or an hour and a half to craft an orb, and of course it's better to focus on this task when you are low on AZ. Citrine gypsum can be obtained as a reward for defeating an arena boss. I've tested all three of them, and they are not that difficult. You have a 15 minutes limit to kill the boss, and with a decent group you can manage to do that in 5-10 minutes. Also same as with expedition orbs, it might be a good idea to have a constant group and share the arena keys with each other. If you would like to know more about arenas, feel free to subscribe to the channel now because the next video will be a full guide about all three arenas. Diamond gypsum can be obtained while the winter event is still in progress. All you have to do is to visit three different settlements and loot the trees of light. Their cooldown is 22 hours and at this point of time it is the fastest way to get enough gypsum for the orb. If this video was helpful, Helpful, please consider leaving a like, writing a comment or subscribing to the channel for more guides. I'm Flanker and I wish you luck in Eternum.